Welkom op ID, een dag lang digitale technieken, digitale innovaties. Een stuk of twintig mensen schuiven aan in de Fast Moving Targets uh, studio. Uh, zoals bijvoorbeeld Matt. Matt, who are you and what uh, do you do? Um, I am uh, Matt Reyes. I uh, am the former Applied Solutions Manager at GoPro. I used to work with uh, the teams that uh, put together virtual reality cameras uh, and use them in the field. Um, and this is what we this is what we're talking about. Yeah, this is one of our older models. This is the Hero 4 uh, uh, camera on a uh, selfie stick. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll we'll be sure to get a picture together <laughs> yeah. uh, when we're done. But um, yeah, what we would do is we would create uh, the kinds of mounts that uh, our pro our professional entertainment producers would use to make the shots that have people wonder how did they do that? Yeah. Um, Storytelling is your um, uh, is your speciality. Yeah, in a way. If, yeah, if you look at the field of storytelling, what is an important trend going on at the moment? Well, you know, the big thing is with uh, you know virtual reality and augmented reality. Uh, we released uh, recently a product called uh, the Omni, um, and that was a six camera uh, rig that allowed for uh, uh, amateurs and professionals to record and capture uh, a spherical video, and so then end users could put on their headsets and look around and enjoy the views. So I participated in a number of different productions with GoPro, including diving with sharks in mm -hmm. the Bahamas. So you can experience some of these videos on Facebook where, where the sharks are swimming around. Um, and then another one that's going to be coming out is uh, Jeb Corliss's wingsuit flight over the Great Wall of oh, China. Yeah. And that was a project called The Human Arrow. Incredible that so so if 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 you uh, um, uh, if, if we look at that 360 virtual reality etc is important um, yeah is important trend uh, how far are we in that field are we still in sort of the hype phase do we already all see really new forms ah. of uh, or or is it just the so are we in the wow phase that yeah is possible I think you know so virtual reality for ha has been around for a number of years and it's gone through a number of phases uh, if you think of uh, 3d TVs and the promise of 3d movies yeah. and whatnot uh, there was a lot of hype and excitement and then it went to uh, uh, to kind of in the background a little bit, not as exciting. The same thing with virtual reality I think is happening now. We have a lot of hype, a lot of excitement. We see a lot of amazing content, but what we're running into are trouble with the headsets. Uh, there's a lot of really cool things with the Oculus and the, uh, the Vive and, and so on, but I think we need to see more technological improvement in order for the storytelling to be really, truly immersive. Um, do you see a, f a future where the, the the, the technology, the things gets out of the way because that's yeah. that's the thing with, with VR as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. I think uh, the, the the future for this is definitely bright. Um, we it will the 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 window that we're trapped into with the headset will get wider. The technology will get brighter and more clear. Uh, there's companies like Magic Leap, like Microsoft, the Hololens uh, that are working on different ways of experiencing it, and I think those technologies are going to move forward brightly. Yeah. Um, what, what technology has done during the last uh, 20, 30 years is, of course, everything cheaper, yeah. better, etc. Yeah. Demo democratization of um, uh, of media. Um, so, what uh, when I ask you, what different stories do we see now that we didn't see? Uh, yeah, 10, 50 years ago. You know, one of the things uh, when I started at GoPro, and and like I, I mentioned, uh, I left just uh, last week. In fact, the the key thing that we we had a new product that was out to make it easier for more people to take the video. When I started, it was with the Hero Four. When I left, it was the Hero Five. It's smaller. The battery life gets better. The angles are different. They're more unique. And so I think that's a trend when, when in terms of the storytelling there. Uh, more people get the unique shots, and so I think that may be the answer to what you're looking for. Yeah. And uh, when I when I look at at, at the last 20 years, yeah, uh, in the f at a certain period we had all the idea that um, all, all stuff would be more like, for example, uh, DVDs in those oh, days, sure. CD-ROMs, so yep. whatever yep. whatever it was. At the same time, when I look at it right now, I think 
have we seen have we seen really new uh, new stories? Is most of it is still linear. Yeah, uh, only more people can tell. Them. Well, I think if you think of uh, vines and you think of there used to be uh, 12 seconds. If if you go way back, yeah. um, you know the short short form of the story, the 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 selfie that's a longer version, you know, short clip. Um, those are the kinds of stories that are are, more, are becoming more popular because your your accidental footage, right? When you look at the camera because it's been it's so easy to carry around and leave on that oh you caught something accidentally but it's short so I think that's kind of a trend that I don't believe people predicted right. it's just like oh just a moment but the funny other one is funny thing is uh, who would have thought that words and letters etc uh, uh, of course everyone said it's everything is video but now video is something to read as well yes yeah that's <laughs> so true yeah that's very true <laughs> I find that quite funny that's it, good, I didn't see that that good one nope, that nope. one coming as well yeah and I think also drones too the, the one thing that I love to highlight is that if you look at every movie that predicts the future like 2001 a space odyssey mm -hmm. right if you look at uh, all the movies that go deep in future there's no drone and and sometimes there's not even a cell phone uh, so it's uh, interesting to see what uh, got missed in the predictions of the future. Yeah, but when you look at um, uh, the the VR uh, augment, uh, yeah. VR uh, AR, in, in what 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 phase are we now? Um, um, yeah, I think we're um, we're post hype. We see products. We see where the improvements need to be. Um, my hope is that, uh, especially when it comes to headset manufacturers, that um, people stay patient. Um, and that uh, the, the, the manufacturers improve and keep the storytelling. GoPro captures the good stories. The quality of those stories is not going anywhere. It's the playback device that needs to improve. And so I'm hopeful that these libraries of quality uh, of, of videos, uh, experiences, um, will get only improve because people want to see better headsets. They want to see in, uh, the quality that we actually captured. Someone uh, I, I I know he, he said to me, Erwin, I I, I put the, um, uh, the the thing on on the there as all the people. Everyone says wow. Yeah. But ev after five minutes, everyone That's right. uh, puts it up, and they do, and, and and it's n at the moment not good enough, not like, attractive enough to put it on again. That's so right. So the wow factor is there. Yeah. Uh, but the next phase uh, yeah. needs to come. Yeah, and I, I think that's just a function of the technology. Like I said, the window of wearing the the tunnel, the tubes on your eyes. The uh, we, once it becomes more immersive, once it becomes more interactive. I think it's really gonna uh, take off uh, like the phones did, like microwaves did. Yeah. Uh, so a another analogy I like to say is the, the hype around 3D printers. Everybody was gonna have a 3D printer, MakerBot, all these printers were gonna come out. It hasn't materialized uh, as was predicted just three, two, you know, three, four years ago. Yeah. So I think VR from the experience playback situ uh, situation is in a similar uh, spot, but there's more promise. Yeah. Oké, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Dat is fun. Jullie bedankt voor het uh, kijken. Um, we zijn hier tot het eind van de middag. Kijk je uh, on demand, dan weet je dat je een stuk of twintig video's uh, kunt terugzien vanaf e-day. E-day is een onderdeel van e-week. Uh, mooie gesprekken. Tot straks.